Let me tell you, that happens. You gotta get creative. Now I'm gonna get some spinny shit. All right, we're gonna do it. Vlog number one, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jared McCoy and I have a video production company and that's what this vlog is gonna be about mainly, me trying to start my own company. Now, I've been doing it for a few months now and I haven't really gotten anywhere unfortunately, so I recently changed directions on what I'm doing to get somewhere, right? I wasn't getting anywhere, you know, I realized it, so now I've changed what I'm doing to hopefully uh, actually get some headway. What I was doing was going into dealerships with my elevator pitch saying I have a video production company, I help you increase social media exposure, I write, direct, act, and everything I do. That wasn't really going anywhere. So, I'm not insane. I'm gonna uh, take a new direction. So the last week I decided, hey, on lunch, because I, I drive Uber full time, and then I was like, hey, on lunch, you know what, 20 minutes, I'll film free videos for dealerships on cars, and that'll give me some experience behind me and uh, hopefully, you know, start making connections and get somewhere. So I'll catch you guys up to speed. Um, last week we filmed with a Ferrari SF90 Spider, $940,000 car, Canadian. And uh, Friday, I went and filmed with a 1969 Dodge Charger RT with a 440 and a five-speed manual transmission. So you guys check that out, see where we're at, and then today we'll get up to new adventures. Now that's something special. So what do you think? I'll take it. Woo! Decline. Am I trying it again? If you're in the market for a 1969 Dodge Charger RT, this is the one to get. Check out Elite Fine Cars today. Link in the description. Okay, I'm gonna hop online. I'll check in with you guys later. I just wanted to give a little context to uh, those videos I just showed you. Now, the first one, the skit. Evan works at uh, Elite fine cars, super nice guy. I had just met him five minutes prior and just a way to differentiate myself between everybody else making these car videos was uh, throwing my skit style in there with the car. Uh, something you'll find out from watching my videos is I love making my scripts, you know, think of a weird little video idea and I like making those. So I just presented it to him like, Hey Evan, if you feel like it, I thought it'd be funny if we do a video where, you know, I say I'll take it and then you swipe my card and it's declined. I thought that'd be kind of funny. And then the other one was just like a classic edit of the car showing it off, um, you know, very straightforward. And then while we were hanging out to see the headlights fold up, the car has to be on because it works off of a vacuum system. So he fired it up and then that's where I got this main video to post of, you know, the charger roaring and the walk around video, I'll link here. So I got three videos in 30 minutes of walking into a dealership. Uh, I was super happy with that. They were such nice people at Elite Fine Cars. If you're ever looking for, you know, one of these luxury supercars, go check them out. If you're in the GTA, Evan will get you sorted. So yeah, there's just some context and uh, that's kind of my favorite thing to do is write a script and turn that into a video because in my head it's already edited and made and then I just got to turn it into reality. Sometimes that's actually annoying where it's like damn I gotta like 
act it out and film it and edit it, but that's the satisfying part of it. So I'm uh, just in between customers on Uber right now and I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, so I did just realize it's a holiday. So a lot of the dealerships will be closed, but I think I got something else we can do. I got two other things in my head that we could still make. So we're still gonna get something. That's kind of my attitude these days is no matter what, you make something happen. And uh, that's why my confidence is pretty high these days because I just know I'll do whatever it takes to be successful. And uh, I've actually been watching a lot of these motivational, like hearing these little quotes. And uh, I'll share one of those with you later as well. So I think they're good if you're aspiring to do someone something to keep you know reassuring yourself and have some quotes that go around in your head to motivate you when you're feeling a little down because that happens let me tell you that happens jerry mccoy signing off talk to you guys in a bit all right so also this is how i just roll around when i'm driving uber i just got all my camera gear i got the gimbal camera bag laptop and i just stack it all right i just stopped in to grab a medium reggie Griff, bro, still not drinking the black coffees. I feel fucking guilty every time, brother. Okay, I just switched the lens to super wide angle. It's like a real estate lens, 10 to 18 millimeter, uh, just so I can get more of what I'm doing. Later on, after we do this shoot, I'm gonna tell you about my camera gear that I run. So stick around to find out about that. Fiat, we're gonna film with right now. So uh, let's check it out. That's the Fiat. It's gonna be hot in here. So if you've been following the channel for a bit, you know the Fiat, you've seen it in some vids. That was not a fart, that is the seat, I promise you. So let's get this thing out of here. I love this car. The best thing about it is that you can rip it. You can absolutely rip it and it'll take it. It's meant to be driven. Like it can handle just fuck being pinned all day long. Engine has, will never overheat. We're gonna fire this bad boy up. I'm just gonna move it into position. I like that. I think that's gonna look sick. Okay, unfortunately I gotta use this camera to film the car, so I'm gonna get that set up on the gimbal and uh, switch lenses.
switch to handheld and some wide angle just as backup because I'm shooting horizontal with a 24 mil and uh, I need to learn it. I need to figure out how to mount this vertically, but for now I don't know how, so I'm gonna get some wide angle stuff just in case, so everything can be in frame on vertical mode for social media. Now I'm gonna get some spinny shit handheld because that just seems like what you do. Yes, Rob, give me sexy. That's what I'm talking about. Work it, work it, active. Hello. Oh. Yes, yes, very. Work it, work it. That's it. Nice. Very good, very good. Got the shot. Got it. Sometimes you gotta get creative. Before we go edit that up, let me just give you a quick rundown of my camera gear. So I just picked this thing up. I was stoked on this. It's a Weeble S gimbal. I paid 350 for it. And uh, it's worth about a grand, so I'm stoked on that. All right, now for my camera bag, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this from the real hardcore ca camera people, but this is uh, my setup, all right? Yeah, we got a bit of inception going here. For my main camera that you're seeing right there, I'm using a Canon SL2. And to show that, I need to record on my iPhone. So that's the Canon SL2. I love this 24 millimeter. I really uh, feel like it stepped my game up when I went to prime lenses. If you have a cheap camera and you want to upgrade your quality, just get some prime lenses. There's less glass, so you're gonna get a sharper image. And I have a rudimentary uh, knowledge of cameras, but from what I've done my research on, prime lenses are the way to go on a budget. So, lenses. I got this 10 to 18 wide angle. It's great if you want to get a big image. 50 mil, nifty 50. On a crop sensor like my camera, this is actually like a 80 mil, I think. And then I also got the kit lens, 18 to 55, nothing special. Light, I got a ghetto. super ghetto wireless lav mic system. It's by Cinco. Unfortunately, I had to sell my GoPro, my drone to pay rent last year, so I'm missing those from my arsenal, but hopefully I'll get a, a new drone and GoPro sometime soon. Okay, uh, I'm about to get heat stroke, so let's go edit this up and see how it turns out. All right guys, I just finished up the edit here and we're gonna throw it online and see how well it does. Thanks for tuning in guys. That was vlog number one. Now, it was a holiday, so we didn't go into any dealerships. Uh, we'll do that on the next one, but we still got a pretty cool little edit of the Fiat, I think. I personally don't like the edit, but we'll see how it does. The beginning of every video, we'll talk about how the edit went from the previous uh, day. On the next vlog, I'm gonna get a gnarly haircut, so stay tuned for that, and we're gonna go into a dealership and uh, see what car we can film with. Comment below what cars you think I should film with, uh, any tips or tricks you have for me. I'm working with pretty limited gear, but enough to make it work. Um, I'm just excited to keep pursuing my passion. This is what I love doing, just making cool videos. Um, so I'm always gonna be doing it no matter what. I just thought vlogging was a cool way to document it and bring you guys along for the ride and see how, how it's done and how I'm doing it. Um, there's no right way to do this. It's, uh, I'm just doing it how I feel is right. Let's end the, end the video with a little motivation. 
All right, I like this one. We got one by the old Tom Brady here. I'm going to throw it up on screen. I'm not going to say it myself like a you-know-what. Let's end it on this, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. The fish don't just jump in the boat. If you want to go catch them, go catch them. Throw that line in the water and go do some work. And if it doesn't work that day, do it again the next day. So you want to be the one that says, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. I know I don't feel good today, but I'm going to go out there and I'm going to prove to myself that even on days that it doesn't feel right, I push myself. The only way to gain confidence in yourself is to build something. It's not to wait for it to happen. You better go out there and do it yourself. Don't fucking wait around and wait for someone to hand deliver something. Go make it happen.